In this video, we are going to create the matrix environment inside After Effects. Let's start by creating a vertical text. Name it. Adjust the composition width so that it looks a bit clean. Now, animate the character offset. Use a time expression so that the character offsets every one second. Create a new solid. Move it up a bit. Scale it down. And animate the opacity so that it blinks over time. We have blink animation. I want to loop it. Add a loopout expression. There you go. We made a loop. Now pre-comb this and increase the composition height. Create a new solid with the same composition setting and add a particle world effect onto it. Change the particle type to text square and select the code text as a texture. Change the particle size, make the particles white. Now change the particle physics to direction axis and change the direction. Increase the radius of the emitter and position the emitter below the composition. There you go. Decrease the velocity and also decrease the particle count. Maybe increase the lifespan of it a bit. Now, all particles are looking the same. In order to change this, change the texture time to from start so that each particle looks different. We finished the code animation. Now, pre comb this and also change the main composition's height back to normal. Now we have a finished code animation. Import your footage and add a camera tracker onto it. Once the camera is solved, select three points and define the flow using create null and camera. Make the code layer 3D. Hold Alt Shift and select the null so that it stamps to the position. Now adjust the 3D layer's position and rotation in such a way so that we fill the entire environment with the code animation. Once it's done, you will end up with something like this. Now, select all these layers and pre comb this and name it Code Environment. It looks something like this. Now, add a glow effect, tweak the settings a bit, add a VC color vibrance effect, make it green, tweak the settings a bit, and change the transform mode to screen. Now, let's create a displacement map. Duplicate the background. Add a tint effect and a curves effect in order to make the image black and white. Now, add a displacement map effect onto the code environment and select the black and white background as the displacement map. Now the code follows the wall. Now duplicate the background and add a fine edges effect. Invert it, add a tint effect, add a color vibrance effect and tweak the settings a bit. This disguises the environment. Change the transform mode to screen. I want to get rid of the sky right there. To do that, duplicate the background, add a chroma effect, change the output to output gray and make the sky white color. And select this as a luma inverse mat. There you go, sky is gone. Now change the opacity and you're done.